Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another exciting episode of Hazen Takes on the World. I'm Hazen, and <clears throat> um, it's been a busy week, but here we are again, and we're I'm going over something I'm really interested in. Uh, this uh, this was not so much a request as much as it was pointed out to me by a fr my friend Josh, and uh, some of my other friends wanted to know how they were, and I said I would do a review. Um, so the, this is a product from uh, McPhee.com, Archie McPhee. Uh, I ordered these in, and I just want to, I'm going to do a little bit of an unboxing and then uh, go over the product, and we'll get to what it is in just a second here. But check out this packaging. Uh, Archie McPhee, uh, visit us in Seattle. Um, I love this. There's a Bigfoot. There's some kind of little alien creature here. They have their shop. That's awesome. There's some alien here with four eyes. That's awesome. Um, rubber chicken. And what do we got on this side? A bunch of random weird stuff. I don't even, I don't know what any of that is. But I just think that's really fresh that their boxes look like that. So uh, we're going to open this open this up and uh, dig right in. So get rid of some of the packaging. Shipping label. Um, Alright, here's the product. Well, there's some other things in here. Whenever you order from Archie McPhee, uh, you get uh, a little glow-in-the-dark rubber chicken. Uh, and this is hard plastic. It doesn't squeak. Uh, it's just a little figurine. Uh, that's interesting. That's hilarious. Uh, for free, why not? And an Archie McPhee uh, mail-in catalog. Um, pretty cool. We're just going to throw that away because we're going to get on to the main piece here. So, here we are guys. I was really interested in this when, uh, when I saw it, but here we go. Mac and cheese candy canes, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, put up a better picture of it there. Yeah, mac and cheese flavored candy canes. That's, when I heard that, I was just like, I have to try these. Um, and I will say this, it's a six pack of candy canes after shipping. It was only like nine bucks. That's a little pricey, but it is shipping and it is a novelty specialty item. So personally, I don't think that's that bad. Um, that's like two fifty a candy cane. Uh, a novelty higher price piece of candy. That's not that bad. I don't think. Um, I will say this. This is um, these are mac and cheese. We're gonna open these up here in just a second. These Archie McPhee also offers them in bacon flavor. Um, pickle flavor and clam flavor, flavor, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I like all those items. I don't know if I'll like them as candy canes. I don't even know if I'll like these as candy canes. But we're going to try that. Um, just go over the packaging here. There's a little mac and cheese guy uh, doing his little shtick. Uh, here he is on the back, loving it up, loving life. Um, the box is kind of cool. We're just going to cut right into it. Because I really don't want this uh, review to take too long, but uh, I think just the the look of their product and the novelty of their product is uh, it's worth giving them the credit and giving them the time to talk over the product. So I want to get this out without breaking it. There we go. Got one out. I don't smell anything. Uh, I'm really hoping this tastes good. Uh, it says they are extra cheesy. Um, I can guarantee they are more cheesy than any candy cane I've ever had in the past. Um, but here we go. Alright, this one's for you guys. I'm just going to jump right in and bite a chunk off there. Uh. 
I don't really have, I don't, hmm. I'm, I'm kind of getting a pasta taste. I'm kind of getting a pasta taste, but not really a cheese taste. Um, I don't know, not much there. Uh, it says ingredients, sugar, corn syrup, water, artificial flavor, uh, FDNC yellow five, FDNC yellow six, and titanium dioxide. Well, I'm glad they have at least two yellows in there. Um, five and six are my favorite yellows, but I don't really don't taste any cheese. Um, doesn't really taste like any mac and cheese I've ever had. Um, I don't know if it's sub just subconscious, but they kind of just taste like regular candy canes, like the, or like a uh, hard tack. Um, I'm not getting a ridiculous, silly mac and cheese flavor from this. Um, that being said, they don't taste terrible. Uh, they just taste pretty basic, sadly. Um, I was really hoping for like a, and like I said, I do have a slight pasta taste, but no mac and cheese flavor. Um, maybe that's just my taste buds. I don't know. Um, we're going to wrap this up pretty quick now because I've been rattling on now. Um, pretty good. Uh, I don't think they're amazing. Uh, for the novelty of them, not bad. Uh, do I think the price is right? I already said that. I don't, I don't think they're that like break in the bank or anything maybe a little high um and like i said they were like five dollars without shipping without shipping um i think that would probably be better uh i think i think they're pretty good try them if you like them uh let me know which what you think your flavor favorite flavor of uh four would be uh i don't know not bad not not as shocking as i expected but um that's pretty much all i have to say on this my name's Hazen. This has been Hazen Takes on the World. This was my take on Archie McPhee's mac and cheese flavored candy canes. Um, head on over to ArchieMcPhee.com. They have a ton of stuff, uh, interesting little um, novelty items. So, yeah. Uh, new episodes every Mondays and Thursdays, guys. Uh, if you have any suggestions for me, leave them in the comments section below. And you can check me out on Facebook. Have a good one, guys. Take care.